Yo, 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 it's your boy Timmy Lee Glean. Hello, YouTube. I'm coming at you with another one of these videos. Please don't mind me, my grogginess. Um, I've been feeling under the weather. I don't like to use the word sick, but if you were to use the term sick, I am sick. But I don't want that to stop me. I literally just woke up and was just moved to record a couple more videos. So, um, you know, that's what I'm going to do. Um, just moved to speak on some topics with the revampment of this porch thing that I'm doing, just sitting on the porch and talking. I wrote some topics down and I'm just ready to kind of just dive into these and just in hopes that somebody can receive what I'm saying in a positive light. And um, it's a wonderful thing to even be alive today to even do this. And, you know, just the biggest thing uh, out of all this is to preach the gospel and you know, to make sure that people know, you know, to accept Jesus as their Lord and Savior, you know, and so that's my biggest thing. He died for you. He died for our sins, you know, and um, died on the cross, risen on the third day. Um, you know, and those that believe that he's the son of God and just essentially God, you know, he granted everlasting life, you know, so. I will hope that you believe, and if you don't believe, I hope that you have an open mind to believe. But regardless of what I believe, I believe this is a topic that has been controvers controversial, that many have spoken on. I've made a couple videos on this topic already, and I want to kind of go along these lines still because I feel like it's very important for you to really get the intentions of this practice and what it should be. And, you know, I feel like many people just don't get it they don't get it at all you know so i hope this don't be a long video i'm just moved to talk about this because we got many players that that want to that want to get into this movement we have many woman haters and misogynists that want to get into this movement and it shouldn't be a movement but it should be a pure a pure lifestyle a pure way of life and we're not going to be able to live a pure lifestyle without the most high um and through the blood of the cross, through, through our Savior. But when you look at this aspect of life, you could say that you're pure because you're not doing anything. But just as our Messiah Jesus says, he says that, you know, if, if you lust on a woman in your heart, you know, and of course he said if you commit adultery pertaining to marriage, but even if you're not in marriage, you know, just when you're lusting in your heart towards a woman, it's, it's, it's the act, you know, in your mind. It's the act in your heart. You know, so while you're on, this is what pushes people to relapse, you know, because you have these things in your mind, you know, you still have the thoughts of the movies, you still have the thoughts of the women, you still have lust in your mind, you still have lust in your heart towards women, that's why you only do it just to attract women and for some sort of benefits, you know, you don't do it just because you want to honor the life that is inside of you. Because the moment you go a couple months and you find a girl that you, and the next thing, bam, bam, bam. Now, once again, uh, it's, it's your life and that's what you do. But what I'm saying is, one of the main purposes for semen retention is marriage. Semen retention leads to marriage. That's what it should lead to. Ultimately, it should lead to marriage. If, you, if you're on this practice and you're with a woman, you should be getting to know her. And you can get, and it's easier to get to know somebody when you're not doing stuff with her. You know, when you're doing stuff, you know, all that other stuff get thrown out the window. Like, you don't find out they crazy until after they lay it down or whatnot. And this can go for women as well. You ain't, you ain't finding out, you know, dude a bum. Or, no, some of y'all know dudes be bums and <laughs> still rock with them. You know, but, you know, ultimately, uh, it leads to marriage or should lead to marriage. And if it doesn't lead to marriage, then... Your intentions and your heart in this whole thing is off. And I think a lot of people that are on this practice need to sit down and re-examine and ask themselves why they are doing this. Like, you, 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 you have to have some sort of bigger purpose than female attraction, than manifestation, which is divination, which is not of God, but it's of demonic forces, which can bring things to you as well. You know, so, you know, ultimately... Do whatever you do with your life, regardless. Like, but I'm not gonna not tell you the truth 
on the practice that you are doing specifically and I'm talking to somebody I know I'm talking to somebody it's it, it's a lot of young people in this thing now it's a lot of young people a lot of teenagers and they're being misguided and misled by too many people that is just telling you 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 know too many men that hate women too many misogynists too many you know it, it, they literally out here you know man I've been grouped in with them before I've been view that as that before be just just for believing in submission you know like biblical submission i believe in submission but i believe that as a man you know a man should be submitted as well to christ and just as christ submitted to the father in that order in the godhead man filled with the holy spirit and, and leading the family man but regardless of that these young boys right now that are in this practice they're doing it and they're doing it to attract these little girls which is just like they mamas. I don't know if you know about the mamas, but maybe you need some wisdom for somebody that's older. You know, maybe somebody ain't teach you. Maybe somebody ain't show you the ropes to the game. You know, I was the, I was a younger person and I wasn't dealing with women and my life was very much stress free. Um, where I watch other and this is teenagers. Other teenagers go through grown up problems. Seeing hairlines and all that stuff, like people going to jail and people hurting other people over these over these girls, you know. So fights come about, violence and and and, and strife and dissensions between homeboys. There's just so many things. Like if we walk in pure, and I don't mean pure and not doing an act. I mean pure in our hearts and our minds and our consciousness. You know, that's the main thing that you want to do. And when you start walking in that, you're gonna attract a good woman. And as the scripture says, it says that this woman is hard to come by. Come by like rubies, like. Ain't, ain't nothing common about this type of woman You know, so when you're walking with the most high And walking with nothing but purity Pure heart, pure mind, pure intentions And of course, things can rise up But we, we, we bring our, our, our thoughts to the subjection of Christ we, we, we bring these thoughts into subjection We keep our minds in the, in the spirit, spiritual matters Eternal thinking and not carnal thinking Spiritual minded and not carnally minded Or fleshly minded Because we can be operating in our flesh But Jesus dies so that he could be risen and we could be risen with him so that we can die to the deeds of the flesh and be reborn in the spirit. And ultimately, this is about walking in the spirit. And when you're walking in the spirit, you will not fulfill the deeds of the flesh. And that doesn't mean we don't get weak. That doesn't mean we don't get tempted. That doesn't mean that we may not fall because we fall. I fail. We all fall. And so falling is a part of it. <laughs> None of us are Jesus at the end of the day. So we all fall. Like We all fall. But. When we fall, we don't st stay in condemnation. We get right back up, dust our feet off, and we keep on going. You know, that's why some people can go on a streak and then lose it and then pick it back up and then last longer and then lose it and then last longer and then lose it. Like me, I, I went on like a three-week streak, and that was the most I ever did in my life. I was proud of myself. And bam, I fell. Next thing, five months. I went on a five-month streak. Bam, after that. And now currently, I'm, I'm going on like 13 months right now. Um... Did I say five months? I think I said five months. And then 13 months right now. I'm going on 13 months. In a couple weeks, I'll be at 13 months. I ain't count the days. I ain't count none. I ain't even there. I know I'm, I'm getting close to 400 days right now. And I don't know how long I could go with this practice. You know, I've been over four years of even not sleeping with a woman or being with a woman. You know, so. You know, when you're abstaining, you know, and just from women in general, you're going to have to deal with that other battle of lust, which is the, the films, the movies, and doing that stuff by yourself. You know, but I feel like the first start is leaving the women alone. The moment you leave the women alone, and really set your mind on what you want to do with this time, because you're going to have free time. Like, especially if you don't have children and not a single father like me, and most of y'all are not single fathers. So... So there ain't no excuse for any of you. If you are on this practice, you can be productive in whatever you do. If you're a sports athlete and you're on this, your running times, your 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 physical capabilities, your your you on the court, you on the field, whatever you play, soccer, baseball, like tennis, whatever you playing, bro, I'm telling you, you're going to be a better athlete. Physically, you're going to be a better athlete. Professional athletes use this practice. Boxers and fighters and and, and, and basketball players, track athletes, football players, all all these people are on they they use this to because physically it's benefits when you're releasing that life out of you it's draining and, and it's it like and 
A lot of stuff ain't really scientifically proven per se. It's it's really a you you know if you know thing. If you try this practice, you gonna know. That's why people do it. You know, it's the theory around it. But if there's evidence of that, then we got to go by the evidence more than the scientific proof because we can't even fully trust science. I know I don't. <laughs> but regardless. You know, the way that anatomy works in our bodies as males, you know, we are strong. And the the more that we get out of out of those adult films and doing that stuff in secret, the more intentional we can be about our lives and building what we need to in these li in this life. You know, it ain't about indulging in self, it ain't about indulging in the things of this life. You know, we don't allow our value to be based upon the things that we attain in this life but our value is attained in the characteristics and values which we hold inside and those things are what outwardly manifest the things that we have of course with god you know when we're walking walking with god and, and, and seeking his kingdom first and his righteousness and all things will be added but people in the world without seeking god and his righteousness this is the concept of hard work because it pays off it truly does but i'm just telling you right now it is a blessing it's truly a blessing to to be able to be in this position right now and know like i ain't got nobody to worry about and like i said it's gonna be tough you're gonna be tempted but you know Especially some people who who has a stronger, stronger calling and purpose will be tempted even more. You're going to be tempted even more. You're not regular Poindexter, you know. And no offense to Poindexter if you're a Poindexter, you know. <laughs> but there's people that are on the upper end of the ladder of attractiveness. And you're on this practice. You are going to attract so much more just and that's anybody once again as i said in that last one um and you attract even not sexually just those that just want to be around you they want to have conversation with you they want to talk to you they, they want to be near you you know so it's you know but ultimately when you're in this place your intention with the opposite sex if there were any attention with the opposite sex it should lead to marriage you should be putting yourself in a position to do what you need to for your family, a future family. Because if you get a woman, one day you may have children. And I believe most men want to have children. Who are you going to have children with? That's the biggest thing. And you attract a wife. Forget just any woman and transforming her into a wife. You will attract a woman with the qualities that you desire. And if you're walking with the most high upright righteously walking by the spirit you're going to attract the same thing that you are walking in if you a dirtbag you're gonna attract dirtbag women you know <laughs> you know, just if, if you if you in them films and stuff you're gonna of course when you're in this practice you're gonna attract all kinds of women but you're gonna be able to see through it you know what i'm saying uh, but when you in that stuff women smell it on you you know just some attracted to that but a good woman will smell it on you. She would not be attracted to you. The moment you start looking down and up and down, a good woman is going to notice your eyes. If she, especially if she's a spirit-filled woman. She gonna know. She gonna know exactly what you're looking at. Like so. But regardless, you know, you you wanna be married. We need more men to desire marriage. We got too many men to just desiring to be single and that's it. Well, how are we gonna repopulate if we're just having babies with crappy women? Uh, or just it's good women out here having babies with crappy men a whole bunch of good women out here good women it's wholesome women women with great qualities that's taking care of their children doing what they have to do just imagine if you had the right man by your side then a lot of this stuff that we have in society would not happen but it takes a lot to be able to have a good man that's masculine it's a lot of accountability that comes with that. It's a, it's a whole lot of everything that comes with that. But I'm going to speak, speak that in my next video. Uh, speak on that topic. But I just wanted to just kind of go in this light once again. Just speaking about, once again, semen retention. And how we should be attracting wives with this type of thing. And not just any old Jenny on the block type. <laughs> you know, but... 
Regardless, I just hope that this video has blessed you in some way, shape, fashion, or form. Uh, I pray that the Most High truly touches you in this walk. I pray that you really get to know Him more. And just while you're in this practice, you know, seek the Most High in this practice and, and lean on Him. Like, you don't just go off of what I'm saying about the Most High. You don't just go off of what I'm saying about Jesus. You know, there's a lot of people that believe in the Most High that don't believe in Jesus. I'm telling you to ask God about this stuff. God going to reveal it to you. God may be using me to reveal it to you. But regardless, you know, you want to attract a wife. If you want to have children, you want a wife. You don't just want to have children with a cohabitating anybody. In, or even if you are cohabitating, because there's people, good men and women that are cohabitating. You know, you want to have that covenant with the Most High and get the Most High involved. You know, and that's the best thing that you could possibly do. So I just hope once again that this blessed you. If you rock with the content, visit my website at www.timmyleeglean.net. There's so many things that's in store, new music, new films, new everything. But I ain't going to announce it all. You know, I'm just going to allow you to see the work. But regardless, I thank you for watching this video. God bless. Ooh.